knife. Could you, James, would yes. you go in and share? Started early. Well, you need to get the camera prepared. Put this so it kind of tells me where to keep the project. Move it a little. Is it live? Yeah. I don't think I can share with anybody who I'm not friends with, though. Oh. That could be an issue. Let me do some sharing. It'll be just a minute if you can bear with me. We're going to do a little bit of sharing here. We have a lot going on tonight. It's going to be a great live. We have a lot of new products. To show you, um, and I have, sorry about that, I'm just trying to, okay. A lot of new products to show you, a lot of sharing going on today. Um, I ran across, hi Dana, hi Rebecca and Mel, how are you ladies? And my husband Jim. There's Geraldine. Nice to see you. We were talking earlier tonight and um, she wasn't sure whether or not the time was good for her, but I'm really glad to see you. Hi, Denise. Hello. Ooh, Northern California. Nice. What's the weather like right now in California? I wonder. Um, I'm going to find another group. There it is to share this in. Been hard at work behind the scenes this week, ladies. Um, I ran across an advertisement for a company. I can't remember for the life of me which company it was. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. Nice to have you in. Um, I can't remember what company it was, but they were pre selling stamps. 
which I think I forgot to print that. I might want to run across real quick and just print that up. Um, they were pre-selling some stamps that they had put together, designed, created, um, in order for us all, the you know, crafters, want to do our share, our part in uh, the crisis that the country's in right now. Um, and sometimes it's hard to determine what you think will really help people versus, you know, the littlest, smallest little thing I think sometimes really does matter. Uh, a lot of us have people that are going through the crisis and in, they're in the front row, uh, you know, for danger. And we can't go give them a hug. We can't um, go out to dinner with them, meet them for brunch, that sort of thing. But we can send a card. And it dawned on me that I preferably would like to do that sooner rather than later. Um, the companies are getting together and they're designing some project products, but they're going to make everyone wait, you know, hopefully if they get them in at all within the next month. Shipping is even hard, but they're going to make people wait for those stamps and pre-order it and pay, you know, an extraordinarily large dollar amount. So I, I thought to myself, what is it that I could do? How do I contribute? And uh, I decided to put together a stamp set. It's called Stay Strong. And I designed it with a lot of heartfelt things that I wanted, I would say to like my best friend or one of my relatives that I cared about. Um, some of it is a little bit on the fun side. Some of it is very um, heartfelt and, and strong when it comes to staying, um, keeping our perspective in place. I know we're going through cabin fever and everything right now, but uh, I want to read these to you and I'm going to print it as well right now. One of them is reaching out isn't allowed but I'll never stop trying. Another one is, please know my thoughts are with you, even when I can't be. Um, let me get this printed too so that I can show you all. Another one is, together we will make it through. This card made it even when I couldn't. Another one, this is one of my favorites, the next, the next best thing to a hug is the card that we can make so that somebody gets it in the mailbox. I don't know about any of you, but my mailbox has been so empty. Um, you know, a lot of companies are struggling and not even the advertisements are coming anymore. So I think if I went out to the mailbox and I found a sentimental, heartfelt card that just said, um, we can't hug, so I've decided to touch your heart is another one. And the last one is positive thoughts. Hang tight. I'm here for you. It can only get better. And they can give an emotional hug. Those those little positive thoughts that we are capable of putting in. Um, and James, I just printed that. Would you grab that for me so I can show it live, please? Anyway, I've put the stamps together and I created them and I have them in the store now and um they're free i'm not going to make people wait i don't want to charge anybody anything i want you to be able to make a, a card or any sort of project at all maybe a scrapbook page um that has my watermark over it but i wanted to show all of you um I want you to be able to work with it right now. I want to. I want to. I want to. You know, inspire you to craft. And I. I know I get a great deal of joy, out of crafting. And when I get to sit down and do it, it isn't as often as I'd like now because my husband is working from home, um, and he uses the desk. But it's important. It's something that we get up and look forward to, and um, it makes us feel inspired to continue to go the rest of the day. So it is free. All you need to do is um, pop into the tlcdesigns.shop store and register with your email address, subscribe to the newsletter, and you'll also get newsletters and updates and pro um, promotions, uh, sales, releases, all of that sort of thing as well. But um, all you have to do is put the product in your cart 
finish the entire process if there's anything that you like in the store along with these um that's fantastic if not that's fine too uh and finish through the cart run all the way through finish the purchase and they're yours they'll come automatically to your email address and you just download the images and use them on your cards so that's the first thing that i wanted to share with everyone it is the new um the first actual giveaway that i have so i you know I, it took me a week to put the sentiments together and and, I, and i'm really proud of them i think i think it will help i hope that it will help people to stay um, positive and think about those that are on the front lines anybody we might have in our family that could use a little pick me up that's what it's for let's see if we have anybody else hi jennifer we have Becky and emma and Auckland, New Zealand here. I didn't know you were in New Zealand, Geraldine. Wow. I don't even know what time it is in New Zealand. I have to I have to start putting a record in my head of what the time zones are. <laughs> I'm not very good at it yet, unfortunately. You're welcome, Jesse. I'm I'm so happy to um have you in the pool of people that love to do crafty things with us. Hello from Texas, that's Tammy Lynn. And uh, news says that there's a postal shortage. My zip is getting mail every other day. Oh, I see. Maybe it's the workers. Well, thank you, Tammy. I'm glad you like them. Hi, Alan. I don't know if he stays, but he does definitely pop in. Um, and thank you so much for making those for us. You're very, everyone is very welcome. I certainly hope that uh, it, it comes in handy and it's something that you all can work with. Now, today's project, we are definitely going to work with my double dial die. And I wanted you to um, see that there's, I don't know how many of you are familiar with it, but there's a full set of instructions on the back. And I haven't worked with this in a little while because I've been working really hard to try and get digital images in my store so that we can build up the capital and start continuing to purchase more product and get it in there so that's what we're working with today but I want to show you the stamp set called Seahorse Sam and I want to get this on camera pretty close so that you all can see now I created the images and I colored them in my procreate uh, app on the iPhone or iPad let me move him into the view a little bit more but can you see he's my new latest he's a blowfish he's so cute I'm in love with him and I got some seaweed in there it's a pretty large set it is for sale right now it's digital I have starfish let me try and hold it still I have two or three different types of shells I have Scones? How, I'm not sure how to pronounce those. Um, oh, Jesse, you're going to watercolor this week, and that'll be really fun. I think these will look great in watercolor. There is Seahorse Sam. These are all gender-friendly little critters. A little bit more of sea fish. I have some coral. I have bubbles. It comes with um, some sentiments as well. You can see there. It has a little bit of a watermark. But I wanted to show you this because this released earlier in the month. I believe it was close to the first Thursday. I think it was on the first Thursday. I had one of my dear, dear friends, and I don't see her on yet. She has class tonight, so hopefully she can join us in a little while. Um, Nancy Grant lives in Alaska, and I have been friends with her for, uh, I'm going to date myself I think um, 10 maybe 11 years since I was working with whimsy stamps and uh, we became real close and we chit chat about family now and you know it just feels like you you know these people that could be your neighbor even though she's in Alaska um, but she contacted me the other day and she said you know she really enjoys making things and she is getting into it a little bit more but she doesn't truly enjoy or she's not happy with the way that she does backgrounds 
And I know that that's complicated for some people and it takes a lot of time to try and get it right. And if you're not proficient at it, you continue to throw them away, which I think is a good thing to keep practicing, practicing, practicing. If that's what you really want to do, I absolutely support that. But some of us can do it a little bit quicker and have done it a little bit longer. And we, because I'm a designer and an illustrator, I have the ability to kind of offer that as design paper. So having said that, I have designed a paper pad, digital paper pad. Hopefully at some time in the future, I'll be able to put these on real paper which is my objective, but I have designed a paper pad with 10, just go slowly across, hopefully, come on, I can't tell where I'm at because of the delay, but 10 different background scenes, it's too close, I'm sorry about that guys, I have to really, if we could go absolutely live, that'd be fantastic. 10 different scenes. I'm going to back up a little bit. Some of them have just the ocean colors. I put a little bit of sand on the bottom. Some of them I used my digital images that come with the set and I put them in and they are six by six papers. There are 10 of them. You print them out like you would a JPEG on your inkjet printer and pop them on a card and you're done. You make your, you can say you printed some digital images like I have actually today for today's project. I can't remember what I did with Sam. He's not under there. I think I've lost him. I will find him in a minute. I didn't put them over here, did I? Uh-oh. All right, well, that can't be good. I will look really hard to see if I can find them in a minute. Um, but I printed some digital images from my set, and we're going to use the double dial die today. And here's what we're gonna make with the double dial die. I've already cut the slats and I've cut all of the little pieces that you need and we're gonna assemble it together. And then if I can find Seahorse Sam someplace, I'm gonna, oh, here he is, I found him. Uh, we're gonna use these. Almost like a cutout, like you would purchase one of those things that you punch out of the papers. Let me see if I need to catch up. I'm so glad you ladies are here today. It's going to be really fun. I also want to announce, and I put a few ads out um, earlier. I'm going to put these right here just so that when I'm while I'm... Cutting out Sam, I didn't get quite as prepped tonight as I thought I was going to be capable of doing, but it's going to work out perfect because we're not in any hurry. We're going to socialize. We're going to learn. We're going to share. And hopefully I'm going to inspire a few of you ladies to get some of your inks out or um, your scissors and stamping and, and do something that makes you feel joy, real joy. We don't have a lot of that going on right now, and I think that it's one of those things that keeps me waking up in the morning and making it all the way through the day. I can look out and see the birds and other things like that. Anyway, back to what's going on. Uh, I think it was in March, I did a giveaway of the double dial die, and my objective was to try and build my email, my subscription list for my newsletter, and my goal was 50. It took the entire month, and then I got to like 53, and a woman named, I believe, Lisa won that double dial die, and I thought, how nice would it feel if, I mean, I understand that you 
already are getting a freebie for the sentiment stamps, but if you got one of the double dial dies in your mailbox because you attended, you know, a live Facebook page or something like that, and you you got drawn, um, that would be awesome. It would be an awesome feeling. That's an eighteen dollar product that you didn't have to pay anything for, and I think um, is the least I can do. And I want to get to a hundred. That's my next goal. So if you have friends, families, crafty people, crafty groups, um, Jesse Banks um, it is running a Facebook page called Cards and Color. And um, I think I forgot to share this in Seven Kids as well. The Double Dial Die is for sale in my store, but it is also for sale at the Seven Kids Create. Uh, Seven Kids craft store um, I'm gonna share that right now too give away anyway the double dial dial is available there too but I want to build up the subscription list so that when I do have really nice sales new releases the the store is up and running in 2020 um and making you know products that you guys really enjoy i'm not going to have a store full of products that i would never use or or wouldn't find enjoyable so there's seahorse sam um once it's up and running and we have a lot of people in there we can do more releases we can do more sales we can do more promotions and giveaways um, it just gets funner and funner and if you could share it with your friends and family that there is a giveaway all they have to do is just register for the store you don't have to purchase anything no purchase necessary and uh, as soon as I get to 100 I'm gonna give that die away which is really nice it's fun this is a fun interactive die you guys will like it um, all of the feedback from it has been positive uh, we've worked out a few little kinks where, you know, the slots need to, or the, um, brads need to be not so tight and everybody tends to do it their own way. And then when we figure out if there's a problem with it, we just fix it. I think, I think it's working out really well. I think it's a popular item. I do have in the wings another double dial die too, which the objects will move I can show you in a minute on my prototype that's cut with a silhouette. Um, just to kind of sneak peek giveaway or sneak peek thing. Where the items don't move like this one does. They move across the card directly to each other. Which I think would be really fun if you had like a half a heart on the left and a half a heart on the right hand side of your card. Look how cute this blowfish is. I'm in love with this blowfish. He's, she's, I, I, she doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a name. I put blue, I put pink, I used browns and greens and yellows and golds. I just love this blowfish. Her eyes are big and shiny and her little lips are hearts. It's too cute. I, I love it. Um, so we've covered the freebie sentiments. We have discussed the double dial die giveaway. All of you know that the Facebook lives are at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And oh, I want to go over this too. This is the item that we colored last week, ladies. Let's see, Marsha. I can't listen. Get in the girls' bed. Oh, yeah, the puffer fish. He's too cute. Thank you. That's Marcia. Nancy's not joined us yet. But this is the... I'm sorry. I got distracted. This is called Happy Bouquet. We colored it last week. It's in the store right now. It's a digital item, so you can resize it. You can flip it. Um, you could color it first and then print it. You could color it out like I did on... Copic friendly paper and printed, but I wasn't able to finish the card up last week and I wanted to show everyone 
what came of the project, which I really ended up liking the lavender behind it. Here is the finished product from last week. This one says best friends forever. It, this stamp set has six different sentiments that come with it. And I ended up putting a little bit of string around the edge, but I popped up, let me see if I can get this on camera. I popped up this big flower so that it would look just a little bit more prominent. I don't know if I'm because of the leg there. You can kind of see it in the picture there. I don't know if I still have it on the right angle. But that's what the project turned out looking like. I really liked it in the end. So that was last week's project. And I did finish it. I have not, not had the chance to blog about it yet. I am hoping tonight <laughs> I will be able to find the energy to blog about um, last week's project. And that means that tomorrow when I, maybe when Hubby takes a lunch, I could take some pictures of tonight's car. <laughs> <laughs> with the camera and uh, blog about it as well because I really want to get the news about these papers out. I think I have a lot of um, lady friends from church, especially one of my best friends, Connie Etter. Um, hopefully she's going to join us tonight. I did send her an email. She moved out to Traverse City now, but um, she kind of likes it when there's less effort and more outcome, which I think that there are a lot of people like that, actually. They want to, they are people that prefer cutouts so that you can just put them together. And I think there's a, you know, a lot of need for that, a lot of desire for it. And I certainly think digitals can be used in that way. Uh, a little bit of fussy cutting and it's pretty much done. Oh, I was going to ask, because I have all of you ladies and gentlemen live with me right now, I was going to ask whether or not you would use someone else's pre-colored images if they were sold pre-colored, as well as, you know, like uh, the set that I have now in the store is black and white. Um... And you color them yourself. But what do you ladies think about me offering these pre-colored images? That's just a question to any crafter with any kind of experience. Oh, Geraldine, you've started yours already. That's great. Thanks, Denise. Hi, Brian. I don't know if you're going to stay in, but hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Donna. It is a treat to get Happy Meal. I enjoy it thoroughly. Hi, Deborah. Can you ask what the postage is to New Zealand? Um, are you talking about, like, the double dial die postage? Because I would, I don't mail um, worldwide yet. My store is U.S. only, but the die is available, Geraldine, in Seven Kids Craft Store. And I don't know what the cost would be, but if you sent her an email and asked first or maybe put the product in your cart at her store, it would calculate that for you and let you know. So I'm really not sure. Tammy knows what Jesse is waiting for her for to come out. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but oh, I'm gonna want to color that. So pretty, very pretty. Love the lavender on the flower. Thank you, Tammy. Um, so Geraldine wouldn't use you wouldn't use like these backgrounds so that the background is done for you. 
but you know you, everybody is different you prefer that d coloring of your own i think that's great that's what i did here and i enjoy that too the procreate um, app makes everything super easy kind of uh, you can blur it a little and make it look like watercolor so i love that too it keeps me busy um dana says it would depend on the images Hi, Nancy. There's Nancy Cran. I was talking about her earlier. She's my girlfriend that lives in Alaska. Um, okay, your postage from there is huge. Oh. Yeah, it's so hard. And I don't even know. Like, I had a woman that I was going to mail the double dial die to in Italy to see if she could work with it. And I can't even mail to Italy right now. So, you know, a lot of things are up in the air as far as the postage office and things like that. So, so Tammy Lynn would use pre-colored. Okay. Um, but not, a, not an image. That's like buying a paper pad. Yeah, this is like digital paper. I'm not sure... If you mean you would buy the paper pad or you would buy pre-colored illustrations like the seahorse and stuff like what we're going to work with tonight. Um, but let me know what it is exactly that you think. So I'm sorry to be talking for so long and not really having very much action. But this is the, like I said, these are the papers that I have in the store right now. Um, they're $3 for the pad of 10, 10 different scenes. You have a little bit of dark blue, light blue with no decoration a little bit of dark blue with some scenery decoration a lot of different varieties i got a little bit of gold a little bit of lighter yellow there are a few that have some images in them and then i left some blank just in case people wanted to stamp that image or stamp it like i did or um print it like i did here on paper run through and then fussy cut which like so that is done so this is one of the background design papers that comes in the 10 piece set that's in the store. And I have already used the portion of the double dial die. Let me explain that to you. The double dial die comes with a frame that is a A4, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Has a little section on the corner that's cut so that when you use the dial on it, you can see the entire dial and use it easier. But I designed it so that you could take this portion out and use it anywhere you want with any project size that you want. And I've done several where they're round. Um, I also wanna get one of these out and show you too. But where the frame might be round, the frame could be um, square, rectangular, anything like that. And it would work. You can use it on anything. Now this is a sneak peek, ladies. Yay! This is the other double dial die. And I've, I've been trying it on cards that are horizontal, cards that are vertical like this one. I've made the dial a little bit differently so that you can put the slots up here. The slots are what's going to move on the card. The slot can be in the middle. It can be all the way down towards the bottom on a vertical card or a horizontal card. You can put it down at the bottom. You can put it here. So like if these were attached, just for an example, you got to kind of put that guy over here because this guy's facing to the right. They would like meet in the middle. You could have them kissing or hugging or maybe a, a girl, a boy, a flower and a bee, a half a heart and half a heart here and they meet. So this is the double dial die to um, cut with my silhouette right now because I have it in manufacturing in the works. A little bit of sneak peek there. So this is the part that I used. I just ran it through my... Um, Gemini, sorry, couldn't remember the name of the machine. This is the dial. And I always cut two of them and glue them together, which I pre-did before the show, before the live. Um, because it's paper, it's not cardboard, it's not really thick, it's not plastic. Um, the more wear and tear on it, the more you use it, the less productive it becomes. So I double everything. Um, it just makes it work 
better. Then you have the arm. which I double cut as well. And previous to the show, put it together. And then I have some washers that come in the die set, as you can see. Paper against paper makes everything run a little bit smoother, but you get everything you need in this die set. And then I have created a little tool that I've been using all it is is one of those arms and I put a slot in it. This works wonders for your bread. When you put it in between the bread and the paper and then open your bread up and take it out, it leaves exactly the right amount of space that you need for your bread to run smoothly. Like as I was talking about earlier, sometimes we tend to close those breads a little too tight and then we're really kind of fussing and fighting over what, why it won't move and forcing it to do something that it's not naturally going to do on its own. Um, but I've come up with a little bit of an answer for that. So if you get a chance to work with this die, you know, take that into consideration. Make sure your brads aren't too tight. These are the brads I'm going to use today. Um, I've had these maybe 15 years because I want to use them and I want to show you why. There are some brads that have really wide arms and you don't really want that because the pre-cut holes are small and the less metal, the better. If you don't have these, it's okay. Use the larger ones, but increase the holes. Run it in, put it in there, run it through, turn it a whole bunch of times. Make sure that hole is nice and loose for this bread. Also, I like these brads because, hopefully you can see it, it's got a very flat top. Some of the other brads that I was using are rounded. They look like a pearl. And it really kind of adds to the depth on the back of the card when you're putting the mechanism together, adds to the depth and then it's scratching against there more than it would if it was just a flat brat. So anything, like I I think I found it on Amazon. You can get hearts and these are flowers. You can get all sorts of them, but I, I tend to look for the ones that are the flattest. Let me just make sure that I'm not missing anything. Dana Ward. Hi, Dana. I love hearing that you joined us, that you found the ad, that you, you know, ha have the ability to come and join me tonight. I've missed you. Um, she's from a uh, high school friend, ladies. I'm sorry. I should have just let you know that. That's a cool feature with the die set. I love it. Cat. Hi, Cat. So let's get to the rest of this project and see what we can make. Um, if you follow the instructions, it's pretty simple. The first thing we're going to do is put a brad through brad one goes through one armhole and the middle hole in the dial. It even shows you that it's behind, so we're going to put it through. The center is the one we're going to do first on the dial and then through one of the arms. The portion of the die that comes out cuts a little circle in the bottom of it. I could show you that as well so that you can see. You're going to get the slot that's going to move sideways the one that moves up and down and then this little hole this is the hole in the dial that you put through this let's use our tool so i can show you demonstrate how that works pull it out smooth see it's like butter. Ta -da. Okay. Now, brad number two. I think I want to definitely use like a blue one. Just because so much of this card is blue. Okay. So we're going to put it through. Step number two says brad two goes through the frame 
and the dial with the head up. So here's the head up, the frame, and then the center section, the large part of the dial. So we're gonna flip it over and put it in there. Okay, pull your tool out. Real easy movement, that's what you want. You wanna test them all too. Okay, make sure you got it so that it works well. Now, I wanna point out, I'm not going to trim this. The actual die itself, the frame that it comes with does have that corner cut so that your dial, the whole dial would be visible. But on this one, I don't wanna do it. And I think if I, I'm gonna plan on taking some pictures of this and posting it on my blog. Um, so I think I'm gonna color this blue or maybe even print another one of the design papers out and make sure that it matches and get the brown or something so that it's not as stark white, but I didn't pre-think that. I could even probably grab a Copic marker and just make sure that it's brown so it's less visible. But for today, this is going to work just fine because this is more about um, the assembly. So what we have here looks like this, okay? The next step brat number three goes through one of your washers and then the frame dial and then washer number two heads up. So I'm gonna grab another brad, doesn't matter what color. We're gonna cover that up anyway. Goes through your, fr your frame. Oops. It went through all right, now it's, there we go. And then Oh, I'm sorry, goes through a washer first. I missed that step. It is on the box. So even the designer there. That was why it was going through so much easier than the other ones. It has been a while since I put one of these together. And I am the creator, so you think I'd be able to figure it out, but no one is perfect. Mm -hmm. So it is through the dial, the top hole in the dial that's already pre-cut. So I did brad, washer, paper, dial, washer. I'm gonna use one of the small ones. Use your tool. It is super easy to assemble these. I'm going slow. It sounds like it's a little bit laborious or looks a little laborious, but it's really not. It's super simple. I just like to make sure that all of you can see. See how easy? It moves really smooth. Am I missing any comments? Ooh, I need one of those. Amanda, they're in my store. TLC Designs. Um, that shop, if you're interested. They are cute brads. I really like the flower ones. And I've done a card actually with them years and years ago. And it can almost be done by itself. <gasps> Connie Etter. There she is. All the way from Traverse City. I'm so glad you could join me. I called you the other day and just wanted to catch up. There are some people that, you know, I can't not call and make sure they're okay. And everybody is doing all right. Connie got in, James. I don't think he can hear me. I think he's watching a movie or something. I'm not sure. So anyway, back to the project. And I know, Connie, you've been waiting for this too, um, to see how this was put together. Step number four is almost the same as step number three. You're just going to use the little, that last hole in the little arm. So what we're going to do, grab another bread. Oops. Purple is fine. doesn't matter. It's going to be covered up anyway. Put it through the hole. There we go. I notice when I use these, they're not quite as smushed together. The arms aren't quite together, so you have to kind of put a little pressure on mine, but you know, whatever you have will work. You're gonna go through your card. 
okay? And then turn it over and put it through that other arm. So everybody can see what that looks like. You need another little washer. And these washers are so that you can glue the arm steady so that the illustration that you applied to the top of the bread will not do any jiggling. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. So take out, this is my little tool that I use. Thank you, Kat. I'm glad you love the dye. Um, so this is what it looks like from the back. I'm going to just test it. Test it from the front. Just make sure everything works as smoothly. It feels like maybe my bread. Oh, no, it's good. Okay, awesome. So there you have it. Ta-da! Easy peasy. Now, the really fun part. <laughs> I think it's the fun part. Putting the liveliness into the project. This little guy. And this little guy. Let's see, I don't want to get in the way of the track with these other, and this is why I used some of my pre-colored uh, cutout sort of things so that I could cover up this, one of them can cover up this bread down here, and then the other one can maybe, maybe we'll put him, pop him up here and cover the bottom of the track and use this to go back and forth, you think? Like they're playing catch? I don't know. What do you think, ladies? We could put him down here just to decorate the base floor. Maybe up against this. And he's going to fly. What do you think? Do we have yeses? Do we have noes? What do we have? Thanks, Kat. She thinks it's cute. Yeah, they're really, really sweet little guys. I like them a lot, actually. Um, sometimes I, I think I surprise myself when I draw something that... <laughs> I shouldn't say that because, you know, I've been drawing for a really long time. I've been designing, but a lot of my stuff is dyes. I, I really am more of a, um engineer and uh, designer of dyes than I am stamps, but I think I have a real passion for some genres. I love owls, so I have um, one-eyed Wanda in the store, which I, think, I still think she's fantastic. I think I'm gonna glue him on there so he goes up and down right there. I think I want him right there. Now, this isn't an A2 size card. Um, I cut it down just a little bit because when I printed this, this is something that is going to come with a little bit more experience. These are brand new um, papers. Too cute, starfish, I love your bread. Yes, starfish, Dana. What did I call it? Did I call it something other than starfish? Maybe I did. I'm sorry. I'm glad somebody is listening. <laughs> Catching me. That's good. Keep me, keep me straight, ladies. Um... Um, so we're going to put him level. Oh, I almost forgot. This is a trick I learned from my other friend, Cassie Hewlett. If you put... Um, some pop dots... If your image is like sort of large, like he is, he's pretty large. And you use some pop dots underneath him, but only stick it to 
him and don't take off that other pop dot thing, whatever you want to call it, you know, the little piece of paper that's on there. Um, I want to show you why, because it's going to keep him straight. Let me, it'll take a second for me to see what you're seeing in the camera, but I wanted to show you when you do that, he slides really easy and he doesn't wobble vertically. When he's sitting on the car, he slides real smooth. Hi, Olga. So, he's on there. I just used some glossy accents to apply him to directly to the brad because it works much better when one of them is a little bit lower in depth than the other one. This one I'm going to use a pop dot, but I also want to use the wobble free technique on him. So we're going to put one of them here. I intend to apply him there. And so he doesn't wobble on the other side either. We're going to stick one there. Now we're going to take the, the little plastic cover off of the middle one to, uh, adhere him. What way do we want? <laughs> I think here, mm, here. Make sure he's on there really good. Well, really well. Oopsie. I think that's glossy accents dried up before I got the horse to because I forgot to put the little pop dots around the edge that's why he came off see it had already dried so let's just hold that on there for a brief more second brief second more I, I do speak English <laughs> um <laughs> I didn't enjoy English in school, but I do speak it. So I'm going to make an attempt to try and be sure to use correct English. My heart loves ocean life too, Kat. You and I are just alike. Thanks, Denise. It is a fun card. Anyway, I was talking to you about why this isn't an A2 size card. Uh, you can make this any, you can make it ATC size. There was a woman on the design team at Seven Kids Crafts um, that made the double dial die on an ATC. And I don't know the exact measurements of an ATC. It was like three and a half by two or something like that. And she used it and it worked fine. So anyway, when I printed this out, um, there was a lot more brown dirt down here which would be perfect if I weren't using the dial card because then you have an entire scene that you could just fill with all your little bobbles all your little cutouts but with the dial card you have to have room you have to have room for the dial to be used out of the corner of the card and so I ended up cutting off I think it was about an inch I don't know what size this card is right now but this is what I ended up working with and I think it's kind of cute anyway because the yellow is in the background right in the center which I think is awesome it really kind of shines a little bit better so let's finish this project real quick with this little shell I don't like how that, I have OCD, so if it's not right, it's not right until it's right. <laughs> my husband and my son, I think it drive them crazy. I think, I think they go nuts, <laughs> but that's just how I am. <laughs> they love me anyway. All right, so we're going to put this over this little dot. Actually, I can see that that's going to do the wobble thing. 
So I'm going to stop it from wobbling with two of these little safety guard, safety wobble guards. Hold it on there for just a second. <gasps> sorry, I, sh I bumped the camera, ladies. I'm sorry. Okay. And it kind of makes it difficult to watch what's going on. Thank you, Denise. I'm glad you like the card. I think it's fun. I think it's, um, it brings joy. Make sure that that's nice and pressed down that we're getting everybody where we want them. Make sure that they dry up just a little. I'm gonna put him on a pop dot. Right here at the bottom of the slit. We don't really need the blowfish to go all the way down to the bottom anyway. Oh, I'm going to keep that out because I want to show you. So what we're going to do, because we put them exactly the way that we want them to end up being. This is when you turn the card over. Okay. And I'll sh I should show you why. Right now, as you move him up and down with the wheel, he's going to have the ability to wobble like this. Okay, and you don't want that. Every time you change the dial, every time you use the dial, he's going to move a little bit more left or a little bit more right or a little bit up. I want him to stay in that position and only move vertically. And in order to do that, you flip this over and you glue this washer to the arm. And then you put a dot of glue over the bread. You do the same thing once you have that blowfish exactly the way that you want it. You put a dot of glue under the washer, connect it to the arm, and directly over the bread. Let me put my glue away real quick. And we're going to give that a few minutes to dry as we finish up the project here. Now, had I pre-thought about it, I should have put one of my digital sentiments on here. Um, if I had been a little bit sooner getting to this project. But I do have a few, like, good friends are endless like the waves. So... Good friends are could have gone up here and then endless like the waves or down here. Maybe what I'll do with this particular card is create a banner and put the sentiments that way onto the card. Or um, I could put good friends are on a small banner and then once this dries up and I apply the pop dots to the back of it that are required, um, and get it on a card base, I could put the rest of the greeting on the inside of the card too. So I want to explain the pop dot positions. Anywhere, I would I would apply your pop dots to this topper card that you're going to adhere to the base card. Everywhere around the outside edge and then everywhere in the center that doesn't run into any of the arms or any of the mechanism that you plan on moving, okay? So here, but not into here. All of this could be covered up, nothing in here, and nothing up to all of this area, okay? So that your mechanism moves freely. I'll show you what it looks like. Even the shell is movable on mine. Oh, you know why? Because the pop dots, I'm going to have to apply that to a pop dot. The pop dots that I put on it to 
not let it wobble are prohibiting the glue from adhering it to the bread. So we're going to put a pop dot on there. There. Now, before I take a picture and actually blog this, I'm not fond of all of that white. What I might do is go in with um, a watercolor or maybe a super light W0 Copic ink marker or something to that effect and cover some of that white. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll distress it. I might end up taking these guys off and re-putting them back on later after I distress some of this, maybe like a light ocean blue. It just takes away from the illustrations fitting into the background. I think they pop too much for my likes. Uh, see, when you see this card, you don't have the white around it, of course, because it's all just one level and it wasn't a cutout that I used, um, which, if I did offer these in colored already, you could create your own scene and print them. Um, but you can see the difference. It just brings it more to life when you don't have all of that white. I'm just going to take some of the white out. Now I'm going to maybe use a little bit more pretty stuff. But essentially... project oh, she's so sweet I love this fish I wish I had done this a long time ago because I probably would make every project with this fish <laughs> I just love it one of my very favorite images and we're just going to make a few of the little things pop out a little bit more. Bring it to life as you would if you had spent a ton of time Copic coloring, which you can Copic color these. Just run your paper through the printer with the black and white outlines and color away. And then maybe that that fish would be really cute with little wobble eyes too. <laughs> what do you think? I should check with people and see. He's adorable. I color the white with a similar color of the background. I don't like the white. Yeah, yeah. No, Dana, I agree completely. Make more cats. <laughs> I love you, Connie. Um ladies connie loves her cats <laughs> everybody has their thing and you know i have dogs but i'm allergic to cats that's why i only have dogs but um she has <laughs> she has a really super adorable kitty cat arabella and and i love her um i i seven kids crafts is coming out with some kitty cats and i already told you i i will purchase that set as gift we're gonna put a little bit of um winkostella yeah winkostella on the seashell so he glitters So we want to, I want to do a giveaway. I want to give away the entire Seahorse Sam digital stamp set. So James, yep. I don't know how many comments there are. Let me see. Does it tell me? No, but I'm sure we have 30 or 40. Could you? I see four, four, yeah, not people. I mean comments. So pick a number between like 1 and 40 okay. and I'll count down from the top of comments. Okay. Yeah, 
Kathy, you like cats too? Don't forget, ladies, um, I have the giveaway for 100 subscribers of the Double Dial Die. Um, share that information. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, you'll find ads on all of that. And you can just share it directly to your page. It's really easy. Um, what else? Oh, we have the freebie. Don't forget the freebie in the store. For staying strong, I wanted to contribute to the happiness and joy um, for all the crafty people that might have someone that is on the front lines or even someone that they miss so much that they can't go and give a hug to, I created a sentiment set for free. It's completely free. You just go into my store, put it in your cart, check out, and you're done. It comes right to your email. Um, use those up and share that information with all your friends. All right, James, yep. what number? I'm going to count up from the bottom. 27. 27. One, Arabella's watching too. One, two, oh, they're still coming in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Susan Bennett, are you still with us? Susan Bennett is the 27th. Thank you, Kathy. I wanted to do something. I saw an ad where another company was going to create polymer stamps for the same reason. People could use them in order to send greetings and care and love and hugs, that kind of thing, through the mail. And they're on pre-order. I mean, it could be a month or two months before they get those stamps in and, and people have to wait and then they pay that exorbitant dollar amount for, you know, some sentiments. And I thought, no, I can do this. And I spent the week really kind of praying on it. And in my heart, I said, you know, there are some things that I would love to tell people um, if I had a chance. And so this is my chance. This is my opportunity to share. And I'll show you again real quick the freebie. It says reaching out isn't allowed, but I'll never stop trying. And you can make these any size you want them for whatever project, which I think is another one of the pros for digital stamps. But if I were going to make this into polymer, they would be at least two inches big. Um, please know my thoughts are with you, even when I can't be. And then together, we will make it through. This card made it even. Oh, this card made it even when I couldn't. The next one says, the next best thing to a hug, and hug is the big word. Um, we can't hug, so I've decided to touch your heart. And this one says, positive thoughts. Hang tight, I'm here for you. It can only get better. Can give an emotional hug. And I think that's very true. I think call your friends and relatives up and say, how are you? I miss you. Um, you know, stay tough, stay strong. I'm here for you. It can't get any worse. It's got to get better. So that sort of thing. And this is what I've created. It's in the store. It's free, entirely free. Share it with your friends. Have them stop by the store. Pick up their own. Um, and make a card. Send it out. I know I would love to go to the mail uh, box and actually get a greeting from somebody. So this is today's project. If you want to see them move, that's how they move. Aren't they adorable? Oh, so cute. And he can't move left or right anymore. See? The shell even moves now. That's awesome. So once this is completely dry, I'll put a little bit of pop dots on the back and we'll apply this topper to an actual card base and we'll be done. I'll find some sort of a banner and I'll put this up on the blog. We'll, we'll get all that information later. So. I was wondering if Sue is still here. I don't think she's still with us. And the giveaway needs to be somebody that stays till the end. James, yes. pick another number between 1 and 10. 
seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Connie Etter. <laughs> You're the winner. Are you still with us? I want some I want to give this away to somebody that stays with me all the way to the end. I know I know sometimes it's hard to stay in. I think Connie's probably still with us. You said Arabella was watching too, so there are two of you in the household that are watching. All right, I'm going to go and um, get some dinner, and I want everyone to stay safe, stay strong. Maybe I'll put some glossy accents on her. And I will see you all again next Thursday. There's a lot going on. We're giving the double dial day away. We have a free sentiment set. Uh, you know, I have a few things. April 22nd, I think it is, is uh, Earth Day. We might have some sort of a discount code or something for that. But at any rate, thank you ladies so much for joining us. Um, I'll see you again soon. Bye.